I repair a lot of audio amplifiers and um, I have some small dummy loads I can use to test them but I don't have anything that's big enough to test some high powered amplifiers in the 100 watt and over range. So this project is going to be to build a higher power dummy load to use to test audio amplifiers. And what I'm using is resistive elements for water heaters. I've got two of them here. They're rated at 2,000 watts and I measured the inductance of this and it's very small like a micro Henry. It's, it's not much um, inductance at all so this would make a good choice for the actual resistive element and at 2,000 watts um, it's more than what I need. But I'm also going to put this into a container which is just a gallon paint container. Picture this is kind of like a Heathkit Cantana only for audio frequencies. So anyway, I punched a couple holes in it and oh, got a cat in here making noise. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I will mount the resistive elements in the lid to this gallon can. I got a spacer here. I'll I'll use a RTV sealant to seal them here, and then this will be placed in the gallon can like this. And I'll also put in a pressure relief valve similar to the Cantenna. Anyway, then there'll be a terminal strip up here that will connect to the two resistive elements. And then I'll fill this with uh, mineral oil that will absorb the heat. Anyway, that's the plan and uh, stay tuned for the next step. Here's the unit I've assembled it um, with the two heating elements and uh, they're mounted on the uh, gallon paint can. They're insulated from each other. Here's the here's the two water heater elements each rated at two kilowatts and of course there's a pressure relief here this is, I copied this from the Heath Cantenna. There's a spring loaded screw with a spring in it here. And if the pressure gets too high, it'll force this little seal off the lid and relieve the pressure. And uh, these are independent, they're isolated from each other. Very low inductance. I only measured a few micro Henry's, which was pretty amazing. Here's the resistance. 7.7 .7 ohms, 7.5, it varies with temperature too I noticed, but um, that's close enough. Um, I'm going to paint the can, this will be filled with mineral oil up to about here. I'm going to take the next step, I'm going to, once I get it painted, I will take the two terminals here and run cables up to a terminal strip that will have connectors that I can connect voltmeters, oscilloscopes, etc. So this should be more than enough, more than enough to handle any amplifier I'll ever work on, any audio amplifier anyway. And like I say, it's a design I kind of stole from the Heath Cantenna. I have one of those for my ham radio equipment. These, um, if you look at uh, buying resistive elements to test audio amplifiers. They can get pretty expensive. I think I got these at a second-hand store or a Goodwill. I think they were just a few dollars a piece. And just out of curious curiosity, I brought it home, measured the um, measured the resistance and the inductance, and I was kind of surprised. So anyway, if you got to work on um, audio amplifiers, here's another option for you.
Well, the unit is about finished here. Here's the bottom. All of the uh, openings into the can have been sealed with high temperature silicone. The, the elements here, which normally in a water heater, you know, they'd be bolted to the heater with a seal. I uh, put two PVC washers and they're sealed. And this one was longer, hit the bottom of the can. So I had to put a bigger spacer on that one. But anyway, here's the bottom of the can with the sealant on it, high temperature sealant. And then that will be mounted, of course, in the can. Eventually be painted. Something else. I'm going to mount it. I made a wooden box for it. And I'm going to have a little shelf built with connectors on it that I can connect to the speakers. Maybe it has some five way binding posts, maybe an RCA jack, maybe some banana jacks to hook to a meter, etc. And then uh, another thing is I can put some handles on the sides to make it easy to carry around. Anyway, the next step will be to spray paint it and I have to get some mineral oil. And then this project should be complete. Well, the audio dummy load is finished here and I've made a plywood box to put it in to make it a little more stable and also there's a little shelf on top with the terminals and I've got handles on the side to make it easier to carry around so seven point six ohms seven point five ohms that's close enough close enough to what I'm doing and of course your speakers can connect to these terminals here there's a binding post and also you can use banana plugs to connect the left and right speakers and then I've also included some RCA jacks here that you can plug in and connect to an RMS voltmeter or a scope or even a spectrum analyzer with an attenuator so you have two ways to connect up to the dummy load here so if you make one of these um, hope you got some ideas from it and uh, each one of these resistive elements like I say is two kilowatts so I still have to fill this with mineral oil I got to order some because nobody locally had a gallon of it so this will be filled up about to here with mineral oil and then um, it'll be good for any amplifiers that I work on anyway I hope this is helpful if you want to build one of these good luck and see you in the next one thanks for watching